Hey there, my beautiful air signs. I hope you're doing lovely today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. Whoa, there we go. So if you're Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand, not all messages are gonna resonate and that is just fine. If you need a private session, check me out on my website, kellyfergusonmeetings.com, where you can also sign up for my Mediumship 101 workshop, which is this weekend. That is June 11th and 12th, so get in on that. And as well, friends, if you enjoy these messages, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or to su show support by either a tip or donation. I am more than happy to have your support. So, friends, it is time for love readings. Love readings! My favorite love readings. Okay, so, starting off with Gemini. Gemini. Overall love messages for Gemini, please. Then we're going to get into the details, of course. Gemini. Boom. Ooh, Gemini. All right. I don't know if this came out for you before. I know it's been a little bit since we did a love reading, probably about a month, okay? Unrequited love, okay? And what this talks about is there not being a love, enough love or enough chemistry to keep this relationship going. So has your love energy fizzled out? Is Are you not getting what you need from your person? Has it just like been, are you over it? You know what I mean? So there's legitimate change happening here. Whether or not this has been spoken to or addressed is yet to be seen. Gemini, please. Three more cards for Gemini in love. Gemini in love, okay, hang on. There's your three cards right there. Yeah, don't stress, Gemini, don't stress. You know, you very well might already know about this um, situation, but I feel like you're moving in another direction and I just, I feel like the keywords are over it, okay? Three of Pentacles, you are no longer working well with this person, whether or not you've addressed this verbally or whether or not you're just seeing it and like you aren't on the same page or maybe you guys want different things. Maybe this person's, for example, focused on career and finances and you're focused on, you know, uh, wanting to have a family and growing a family. If you're at two different places in your life, we're not going to be able to jive and mesh well together, okay? It doesn't mean there is necessarily isn't love on the table, but if we're not rowing the same boat, we're not going to get very far, right? Page of Pentacles is really asking you to start moving your own wheels in a direction where you are going to get traction. Now, you maybe might be focusing on career or focusing on your health or other things that you think is really relevant and important to you. That'll be different for everyone, but this is trying to say if this isn't working go in another direction notice the pentacles again right right so start to put your wheels and your energy in a different direction something that feels good to you something that's going to give you traction and move you forward four of swords in reverse don't spend a lot of time stressing out about this situation at the end of the day if there isn't enough love if we've decided for whatever reason that this isn't my best match we don't need to kick and scream about it we just need to be open and honest about it first with ourselves then with your partner and then move forward shaking hands and being friends if that is um if that's relevant for you. But Gemini, don't lose any sleep over this because I have the feeling that everybody at the table is aware that things are changing or the nature of the relationship is changing. So maybe it's just time to be open with your communication and call a spade a spade and let the chips fall where they may. Then you can move on to something that's more, um, you, then you can move on to something that is more, um, that's gonna get you more traction and put your energy into good use, okay? Hope that makes sense, Gemini. Hey Libra, what is going on for you? Let's check out your love messages and see what's happening. Whoa, there it is, boom, retreat. Ooh, ooh Libra. Okay, so what do you need to walk away from? So there's two messages here. Number one, either you know something isn't for you and the universe is asking you to lovingly back off of it and not put any more energy in that way, or this could mean that you and your partner require a little bit of extra alone time or private time to either rekindle or reconnect your relationship. What it says down here is it's time to disconnect from the world. So this again can be different for everyone. This could be disconnect away from your partner because it's not working, or this could be you and your partner moving in a different direction together to re-solidify this connection. So let's take a look for more detail. Libra, please. Libra, what's the detail? Boom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Libra, I think what's going on here, isn't it interesting? Isn't this interesting? That I really think that like... I think that these cards are telling you that you've been here before, you've been through this with this person before. I think that at least the way that these cards are coming out is making me feel like you've decided that this person isn't for you with um, 
rather than disconnecting and re-solidifying, okay? So I do feel that there has been some stress surrounding this relationship in the past, whether you're still in it or whether it's over, okay? Four of Swords, again, this is about relieving the stress, choosing to put the stress down so that you can bring peace into your life. If you've had a relationship where you're constantly fighting or arguing or bickering or just don't see eye to eye on something, this could be something that has a lot of stress in your relationship and puts a lot of stress in terms of you personally about what's the future of this relationship? Where am I going with this? Is is this going to be stressful in a fight the whole time until we're in heaven? Like, mm -mm. the moon is showing up as well. So this talks about a couple of things. Number one, maybe you guys aren't openly talking about what is going on or that you're not happy or not getting what you want or whatever those items are, okay? This could talk about, you know, people not, be honest, be, not being honest about their feelings, but this can also talk about someone being emotionally overwhelmed and maybe not connecting to their own emotions and just passing things off and not taking it seriously. So there's definitely something that needs to be looked at here for sure. And the other piece as well, justice in reverse, okay? There's your Libra scales right there trying to keep it even. But this is you knowing that with regards to this relationship, that you either weren't getting what you want, there wasn't fairness going on, all of that type of stuff. Now this isn't about you saying that I want justice and like I want to, you know, I want this person to pay. Sometimes this is about accepting what is and allowing things to move on anyways. You can't always fix everything. You can't always make someone agree with you or jive with you. So it's not about making something fit. It's about understanding when to stop fighting for something. Okay? So Libra, stop fighting on this one because you're already not getting what you want. You're already causing yourself stress. There is something that's being hidden whether you're not saying it forthright or the other person isn't and you're already not getting what you want so libra i lovingly suggest that you walk away and focus on you hey aquarius i hope you guys are doing great let's take a look at your overall love messages and see what's coming down the line love messages for aquarius please overall what's going on for aquarius aquarius in love what's happening aquarius in love what's going on Aquarius in love. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, we got something to talk about. We definitely got something to talk about. Okay. So number one, deception. And then we also have religious factors coming up here. Okay. These two cards together are telling me that there's something that, that is going on within your relationship. So for all of you who are in a relationship or wondering about a relationship that just ended or take it how it resonates. Okay. Deception isn't necessarily bold-faced lying, but it absolutely can be. Are you being honest in your relationship about what you want, what you're willing to contribute, or maybe not being happy about what you're receiving from your partner? It is time to speak up on this because unless you really address the things that are not going well within the relationship or what you're not comfortable with, things are going to continue to feel uncomfortable. You're not going to be moving forward in a way that you need to, okay? Religious factor shows up as well. So I've said this before, this can be a very forward-facing message of, we have two different religions or belief systems and it's a challenge to mesh them but this can also mean like just different belief systems in general you know like for example um maybe you want kids and your partner doesn't that's going to be a whole thing that you're not going to be able to get around that can totally impact the future of your relationship together and whether or not you'll be happy together okay so there's definitely something that's going on that needs to be addressed um Let's take a look at this in a little bit further, okay? Aquarius, please. What's going on with the deception and the religious factors? What's this about? Bam, right? Ten of cups in reverse. We're already unhappy about something or you're worried or concerned about what the future is gonna look like because it's already feeling a little unstable for you, okay? So 10 of cups in reverse, that's that happily ever after with the love, marriage, and the baby carriage and all that good stuff. But there's already something that doesn't feel like it's a perfect 10 for you here. What else is going on for Aquarius? Two more cards, please. Is this, yep, okay, one more. Is this it as well? Have things come to a full stop? Um, and I just get this feeling, I don't know if there's, uh, this may not be for everyone, but I don't know if there's a pregnancy going on as well within this relationship. Perhaps someone isn't aware that there's a pregnancy, so that's not for everybody, okay, but I'm just picking it up. 
So the other stuff that's going on with regards to this relationship that you need to pay attention to, Aquarius, Five of Pentacles. So this is victim mentality. This is lack mindset. This is, oh, poor me, but what are you doing about it, okay? If you're already not feeling like things are good and you're already feeling like a victim in this relationship, or to the name of deception and religious factors, there's serious stuff going on here. I don't think that you feel that this person is in it for the long haul. Maybe they're not behaving in a way that makes you feel like they've got your best interest or their own best interest in mind, okay? And the Knight of Swords in reverse is showing up here as well, which is telling me something might have come to a full stop. It very well might have been that, you know, things were going along okay at one point, but now the tides have turned, and I think that you are feeling like, I don't want to move on here anymore. So Aquarius, if this is for you, I'm so sorry that you're going through some stressful stuff, but it is time to bring this information out into the open. It doesn't mean you're a bad person, but honesty and clear communication is going to be the key to moving forward, whether it's forward with this person or forward in another direction direction that is better for you, okay? Don't be afraid to make the call and to make decisions that are in your best good, kind of like Queen of Swords energy. As much as there is emotion involved in here, sometimes decisions can't be made from an emotional place. Sometimes it needs to be made from a um, logical, straightforward, open and honest type of way, okay? Weighing your pros and cons and stuff like that, okay? So, even though it might be hard to speak your truth and bring it out in the light, it is something that is absolutely necessary for you Aquarius so that you can continue to move forward and not be carrying these heavy energies. So sorry Aquarius. Air signs, I hope these love messages were helpful for you and resonated with what's going on for you right now. If you enjoyed them, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, join me next week for your next group reading. Thank you Air signs.